All right. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Actually, I'm not even near my headphones. My headphones are on my. I was gonna say on my phone. They're on my lap. Um, I'm getting started just in a few minutes. I'm running behind. Well, that's nothing new. Um, but it's time to start in advance variation of gaming for Mr. Sonic the Hedgehog. But we will be playing Sonic Advance uh, for the Game Boy Advance. We're not going to actually be playing it. So we're going to be playing it via a Virtual Boy. Mm. Well, the Virtual Boy. Because we are gamers. Yeah. We are primed to our gaming. Uh, with that said, hi everybody. <laughs> how are how is everyone? I know there's a lot going on Sonic wise, and I know there's a lot of things that definitely um are definitely going on within the Sonic community. There's a lot of, of strenuous things going on with you know just everything right now. So, yeah, it's that. No, I just can't. I don't care about cookies. Um, Okay, sorry, I'm trying to like, oh, I don't think I added any of the advanced pictures here, except for maybe Sonic Advance 2. Oh, this sucks, because that means I have no advanced stuff. I haven't even told people that I was actually on advance, um, or I was on live, so. Yeah, we're just gonna be on the screen for a long period of time. So I can get so fixed. Um but yeah, we are playing we're going to start playing Sonic Advance uh, one. We're not gonna do Sonic Advance two. Uh yeah, we'll come back to two. And then definitely come back to three. Um uh, and then end off with no well, well I mean the advanced series has more than just one, two, three. We also have Sonic uh, Battle that we're look that I'm looking forward to as well. Um, I don't have but one feature for Sonic. Oh, here they go. Damn. I'm gonna have to add the other ones on here too, and then I have to figure out how to fluctuate them. Because Sonic Advance being an advanced game. I want the advanced picture. Wait. Yeah, how the hell do you Yeah? Is and friends are not small. And fit the 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 army in here. Like I don't even need the name, I can just go, you know, Sonic Advance. Mm -hmm. Is working from there, but I at least want the logo. Oh boy, this is gonna be a mess. Hold on, I have to look up better renders for for them. Um, so I guess right now, let me go ahead and let me um, set the live stream up. Oh, because I made an announcement. Alright. Oh, I did make an announcement. I had updates tab for it, right? Back. 
everyone with Sonic Advance 1. One. I am then enter all of my favorites. Uh, persistence and key, but punctuality is something I am not good at. So forgive me, I never start on time. Hold on, I will be live in just a few. I need to share, 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 and kind of go from there. And also, I'm using the new mouse now. Um, well, I'm using my older mouse, and luckily, this mouse does not make me want to punch it in the dick. Um, as well as my other mouse wanted me to punch it in the dick. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, okay, so let me get everything ready. I'm sorry, this is like a bad intro video. And what, we're already seven minutes in? Yeah, okay, bite me. Um, window capture, virtual boy advance. Okay, virtual boy advance should be ready. Capture. Um, I don't have a background of choice. But today, I can make a background of choice today. Let's see. Well, it'll be advanced too, but it'll be at least so I can get <clears throat> advanced ones done and ready. It is going to be misleading though. Like, you said Sonic Advance. So it will, and the, yes, I did. And then I lied. Is she picking up a show play? Oh, wait, wait. Did I put it? There it goes. Okay. So now the virtual boy is ready. We're going to just get the virtual boy stuff together. Okay. There's one. Oh, where's my control? No? Okay. I'm going to have to it. Yeah, I'm going to have to do this. Uh, yeah. Do this. Oh. Virtual Boy should be on screen. Okay. An option. Figure. Right, actually. Right. A, B. L, on. Capture. Yes. Okay, so files. 
help you. Where is it? Uh, here we go. Sonic Advance. Okay. Hopefully, the stream is fast enough. And hopefully, we don't have any issues with the stream. And I can hear it. Um, I'm gonna actually let the intro play. Because, why not? And the, actually, the intro itself is going to feature all the characters we will be playing in. Start off with the himself, Mr. Sonic the Hedgehog. Then, Sonic BFF and Besties, Miles Tails Proper. Of course, Sonic's rival and right hand man, Knuckles the Akima. And the lovely Amy Rose making her. Debut appearance as a global character in the Sonic Advance series. Since her playability in other Sonic Advance games, Sonic games. But ladies and gentlemen, we are here playing Sonic Advance for the Game Boy Advance. So, um, this is a will be easy, I guess, but a time up off. Um, button configuration normal. Alright. So, all the advanced stuff is ready. Alright, so we have four playable characters, it's Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and Eevee. Uh, of course, we're going to be starting off with Mr. Sonic the Hedgehog. And we are in Neo Green Hill Zone. Uh, to start us off. So yes, Sonic Advance is the first of many games Sonic himself gets introduced into the plethora of gaming. That is... Uh, Nintendo, yes, the first Sonic game on the Nintendo system, right next to Sonic Advance. I mean, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which I think came around the same time. So, why Sonic was celebrating his 10th anniversary on the Dreamcast, and actually, I think it was a little later where they moved Battle to, uh, to the GameCube, Sonic Advance made its debut. Uh, on the Sonic series, and yes, we have this beautiful chip tune esque music because everyone loves trumpets. Uh, we have an array of beautiful music for the Sonic Advance series, um, and of course, we have that nice peel back ability of Mr. Sonic Edge. One thing I do want to note actually before we get the chance while we were running down this um, street. Um, we have a lot of enemies here from Sonic's history, um, but we have one of the newer features for Mr. Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, we have, uh, this grind rail. And of course, we do have a lot of Sonic's classic moveset here. Uh, we have his jump, we have his insta-shield, uh, we have him running, you know, we have his spin dash. Okay, so I can't get to that. Okay, fine. Um, but yeah, we have a lot of everything here from Mr. Sonic Bay. The only thing that's not here is his homing attack. Uh, which for those that are going to ask, where is his homing attack? Um, Sonic the Hedgehog does not have a homing attack in Advance 1. He has somewhat of a homing attack in Advance 2. And in Advance 3, um, he gets new abilities via his friends. So, you see his real here? Sonic and Amy are the only ones to do this. They are able to grind on rails and perform tricks. Um, fun fact about that is that this game is, is based off of Sonic during his Adventure 2 motif, which is why Amy and Sonic are going to be the only ones that will be grinding on rails. Um, everyone else, for the most part, as we're about to see, uh, will be doing their own tricks and flips. Before we end the stage, because the end of the stage is to the left of us, um, I need to get up on that platform. And the only way I believe I can do that is I gotta go up. So, yeah, we're going to be doing some, uh, back, some backtracking. And yeah, there are a ton of enemies here from Sonic's history. We got frogs, we got motorbikes. I don't think we got motorbikes. I think the motorbikes have played with rhino, rhino rollers. Um, we have 
just a ton of everything um, here in the Advanced series. And Sonic Advance, but no expenses to what um, it could do. So we're trying right now to see about getting to this um, platform right there. I don't think Sonic can do it. It is very weird because I know Sonic can. <sighs> of course, it's always roadblock. Oh, and then we got the invincibility thing. Uh, and of course, just like any other Sonic game, we collect a certain amount of items and stuff. Uh, you're able to do all of Sonic's, you know, tricks and tropes and all that. How do you get up there? I think, is there a spring? There's a spring. And I don't know where the spring is. That's... Okay. Uh, that's probably what it is. Yeah, Sonic has all types of different animations and stuff. Too. But like I said, the Advanced Series, I might have to just... Oh, yeah, I can't pause. Uh, escape. Damn. Alright. The best thing I can do here and tell you guys is that there is a way here that leads to a special spring. And that special spring leads to a special stage. Unfortunately, because I cannot get to that spring, uh, we're just going to have to continue the level normally. It's weird because it's the first act and I'm spending over five minutes in the first act. But that is Sonic Advance for you. Alright, and now we move on to Neo Green Hello Act 2. So, yeah, all right. This is going to be the act of music you'll be hearing uh, throughout Sonic's history. Uh, because it's a very iconic track. And for what Sonic Team did, to, uh, getting things together for Sonic, we got to commemorate them. Uh, Sonic Team did not create this game in particular. Uh, this was Dimps. Uh, Dimps worked on Sonic's Pocket Adventure, I believe, for Game Gear. And um, since then, they were the guys and gals who were responsible for Sonic's handheld adventures. So, Sonic Advance, Sonic Advance 2, Sonic Advance 3, Sonic Rush, Sonic Rush Adventure, Sonic Colors. Sonic Generations 3DS and Sonic Lost World 3DS are all dims. Um, uh, after, now we're on our first boss for the Advanced Series on what seems to be, um, oh, what seems to be the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, we have the first of Eggman's utilities. By the way, I hear that again. We have the, um, what is this? This is the egg, this is the egg hammer tank. And as you can tell, yeah, we're going to have some instances where he's going to be throwing that hammer and then throwing it at you. It's a simple boss. I'm right about. And of course, there's really no voice acting here except for, um, the intro. Um, excuse me. And stuff like that. Now we are on to Secret Base Zone Act 1. <laughs> oh, gotta love this music. So this is uh, the second level in the Earth series. Um, and a lot of two chemical plants. Alrighty, getting homages to other games. Oh, yeah, we are in Eggman's secret base, and we are trying. To, we are infiltrating it to basically uh, information on Doctor Eggman. Or at least that's what some of the information tells you about the level. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I I don't. 
go back too much to advance to. I mean to advance one as much as I do to. Uh we're exploring it though. We'll, we'll be playing it. And I do have it set to normal difficulty because that's technically hard and an easy is normal. Uh, so this game is one of the many games that introduced Sonic to many of the Nintendo fan base. I think at that time it was just kind of like, okay, when is Mario's next game? You know, you know, uh, Sonic fans were questioning where are we going to get a, you know, a new Sonic game? Um, um, and bam, they give us this Sonic Advance. I actually didn't know there was a Sonic Advance till um, oh the GameCube, till literally GameCube, where Sonic Advance, Sonic Battle had a promotion for Sonic Advance on the back of it, talking about the chow and how, um, who can, uh, uh, I don't think the chow, Ooh. uh, handheld wise, if he has Sonic Advance. So when we pick up Sonic Advance, they should the Sonic Advance too. And uh, I was up, I was up with, with Act 1. Uh, I was at two. Oh. Oh. And we were actually deeper into the base. Oh. Huh. Oh. Dimps. Uh, Dimps. I don't like Dimps. Because Dimps likes to put a whole lot of what the actual fuck in my Sonic game, and I don't like that. Um, by what the actual fuck, I mean bottomless pits. We don't see them in this game, but the next two games, we're gonna see nothing but bottomless pits. And there's a lot of them. Um, and I know a lot of people are probably gonna ask, uh, what exactly is the reason why you wanted to do the event series? Why um, not choose a 3D game? Simple. Oh, there's some of Dim's favorites. Spikes out of the goddamn ground. Uh, the reason why I've decided not to go to a 3D Sonic game is because 3D Sonic games have not been doing too well uh, with the games themselves. And I've been trying to figure out how to use how to work with my uh, my stuff. To get things going. Uh, oh, there's an extra life. Yeah, oh, I want that extra life. But I also believe, if I'm not mistaken, Act Two should have the. Um, Well, yeah, Act 2 for uh, the secret base should be the act where I find the, there it goes, where I find, um, what is it, the spring, there's a special spring here, and, there it goes, oh, I missed it, shit, uh, I missed the special spring. Oh, there's nothing I can do now, except for go forward. A lot of chemical plant vibes. Or more to a lot of uh, Metropolis vibes um, off of this level. But, yeah, I missed another special spring. I actually don't know where the special spring is in um, the next level. But you're gonna have to find it. Yeah. Alright. So. There's a lot of Sonic Advance stuff um, that gets used in later games. I think it's actually with a lot of the later Sonic games. But, alright, we are on boss number two, and it's time to pogo a go go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the Egg Pogo. Uh, or the Egg Spring Yo. I, I forget what this thing is called in, uh, in context of the machine, but. 
Yeah, Eggman will be trying to do, yeah, giant leaps and stuff. Um, your job is to try to avoid it. Um. There we go. But another boss defeated in another zone conquered. Alright, that makes it two. Uh, Alright. And that is... Uh, secret base zone uh, act to compete in secret base complete. Now we are Casino Paradise Act 2. You guys thought they were not gonna give us a casino? Come on now. So yeah, we are in Casino Park Zone Act 2. Um, uh, this level is adorable. It is a reference to many of the casinos that Sonic the Hedgehog and his friends have explored. Um, I do believe you get points from hitting some of these springs. Yeah, you get tons of points from hitting these springs. Uh, a level that gets used later on in Sonic's franchise that uses some of these level motifs are going to be uh, Music Plant in Sonic Advance 2 and then uh, Bingo Highway in Casino Park um, in Sonic Color I mean Sonic Heroes so yeah there's a lot here uh, to ingest when it comes to Sonic's uh, history and the things in Sonic's history um, now the reason why I picked this was because for those who don't know, and for those who were probably watching the live streams the other day, Sonic Generations did not want to work well on my PC in terms of charged live stream. God damn it. So I had to make a choice. Either you try to continue to force Sonic Generations to work, or you go ahead and move on to another game. I decided for the sanctity of both my mind and my viewers and you know y'all family I decided to just go ahead and move on to the next Sonic game which is gonna be Sonic Advance um the Advance games are not long they're actually quite short um depending on which game you go I think the longest might have to be Sonic Advance 3 but that's simply because of the stuff that you have to do in 3 to get the Chaos Emeralds and to do a lot of the extra work to get a lot of things in that game while here in Sonic Advance is probably the shortest amount of things I have to do and actually I just recently um, downloaded Sonic Advance uh, to, I mean 1 1 and 3 onto my uh, laptop and yeah, now we are listening to Casino Paradise Act 2. Now, I believe Act 2 of this level hosts the, uh, the special ring. I have to look at Clement's videos so I can know where each of them are. Um, the special springs for this world. I believe each world should have a special spring. I, I haven't played Sonic Advance in so long. Um, that I don't know where anything is in terms of Sonic Advance. Uh, one thing else you should know is Sonic Advance does not have a hub world. It does not have a hub, um, it will have a hub screen where it has a, like, a level select. And that's only after you have, um, no, uh, I think it's you have to accept a challenge. Um. Oh, right, what's that angry at show? Which character? Do you actually quit? You can always go back to the level you were in. Or you can restart the level. Sega and their product placement. So this uh th th that there was a sign for Sega. Um and if you wanted to, what you could do is wait till it lit up. And then you explored it. Um to get what you needed. Alright. Um. Play drum. Uh. 
And if I seem a little tired, that's because I am tired. I didn't get up till about 10 this morning. Eh. Uh, uh, excuse me. I really was gonna just end this stream. My sleep schedule just has been off its rocker. I'm gonna take some tea. I have some cold tea brewing or steeping or whichever one you want. It's some peach tranquility. And I wanted to try it out because actually fun story. Um, the one time I actually decided to take my ass to a uh, uh, Starbucks, my aunt um, took me. We went. Uh, was it our last day of work? Yeah, it was our. Well, it was the last day of work in terms of some things we had to do. And I also had to go take a test for my job. Um, and what happened was, oh, hold on, before I can use the story. Um, Next boss, uh, fuck, I forget what the name of this boss is, but gimmick of it is there's gonna be a floating bomb and then there's gonna be Eggman's contraption. You wanna hit Eggman's contraption, you don't wanna hit the floating bomb. Uh, and it will hurt you if you hit it. So it'll go up, it'll go parallel or perpendicular to Eggman. And you can use this uh, to jump on there and hit Eggman if needed. And also, yes, this is Eggman speed. Uh -huh. No, think Eggman can hurt you? But let's not take that chance. Okay, now it's getting faster. Eggman's on his last hit. <laughs> just gotta be very careful. There we go. All right, and now I didn't lose my rings this time. I get a ring bonus. But that is the end of Casino um, Paradise, and it kind of reminds me of Spring Springyard Zone. Um, you know, with that background in the back, the purple backdrop with the waters in the back. Now we are in the ice, meet ice mountain zone, a kin to um, ice cap with new enemies uh, everywhere. I guess I'll do an enemy displacement once I find out the, when I find a manual for it, but yeah, welcome to the ice caps, um, a remnant of the ice levels in Sonic's history and probably one of the most bullshit bosses too. But I do not like the boss for this level. I do remember the bosses uh, for this one. Especially this one's boss. I don't like this one's boss. I don't like it at all. We'll, we will do our best. And I think it's either this level or it's um, the next level that will have two special ring sets. Oh, I'm gonna crash hard at this. John Stream? Today? I think so. Everyone's playing Mario Strikers. Um, I didn't buy Mario Strikers because I'm a broke hub. Um, and I didn't know Strikers was coming out this week. I thought it was next week because um, we have not gotten word from Nintendo about them doing anything um, in terms of, you know, games. So I know Xbox is having their stuff tomorrow. And I think I was going to join Johnny. Don't call me Johnny and watch him react to it. Uh, I could react to it myself, but I have literally no interest in playing Sonic Advance. Oh, Species! We did a variant of the level. Let's go. Let's be that. Okay. No, because I have to set back small. There we go. Okay. Yeah, if we're in the water, those little barracudas get you. Or the eggacudas. That's what I'm calling them. I'm sticking to that name. Alright. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I want that one up. I think we're done with the level. 
Yeah, we're done with the level. There you go. Alright. And that is Act 1 of Ice Mountain Zone done. Ice Mountain Zone Act 2. So this will also give you some insight on this game. The mu some of the music tracks in this game, fuck these damn spikes. And penguins, those penguins are actually from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Or Ice Cap Zone. Anyway, um, so if you haven't known by now, uh, I'm here to let you know. Now, uh, Sonic Pinball Party, the pinball game, to be a successor to Sonic Pinball. Um, oh shit, I need to hurry up. Yeah, drowning thing, because, you know, Sonic can drown underwater. Um, there we go. Um, is in this game. And, well, not this game, but there's a Sonic Pinball Party. And Sonic Pinball Party, uh, I kid you not, I've actually have played Sonic Pinball Party. Uh, it's actually pretty fun. Um, it is just basically pinball. The gimmicks of the boards are very different, and I will show it off for you guys um, in terms of playing uh, Sonic Advance series games. Because there's five Sonic Advance games. Uh, well, if you want to call them that, who went out? So in Sonic Advance, in Sonic Advance um, Life, there is Sonic Advance, Sonic Advance 2. I'm going to die. Hold on. Okay, Sonic Advance 2, Sonic Advance 3, Sonic Battle, and Sonic Spin and Sonic Pinball Party. Now, how I got introduced to Pinball Party was actually because I own Sonic Pinball Party Pack. And holy fuck, I need to see that. Come on, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. And uh what happened was that, oh, hell yeah, was that Sonic's, um, oh, fuck, I'm, I'm blanking, excuse me. Um, what was that I got to say? Shit. How I introduced the Sonic Pinball Party was that it was in a dual pack for Sonic, uh, with Sonic Adventure, I mean Sonic Advance. And bitch. And I was wanting to play, you know, a, you know, a Sonic game. And I don't know if we, I had rebought Sonic Advance 2, but I, I had nostalgia feelings for an advanced game. And I remember seeing it um, in GameStop. It was in GameStop. And oh, here we are at the boss. Um, so we have the egg drills. And the gimmick here is Eggman is going to, yeah, he's going to do this. Oh, fuck, I forgot those kick hurt you. Um, you want to take advantage of these ice, these falling ice pickles. And you want to use them to get to Eggman. As a such. Oh. Well, you seen me do it earlier, but. Yeah, and if you do do it, it gives you air. And you definitely want air. Um, if anything, but yeah, while Eggman is doing this, he is doing this to try to kill you, uh, also. Uh, sooner or later, he'll be dropping three. Oh, shit, okay. Not funny, come on, Eggman. Okay, well, we died. But yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, and actually, I don't know if is this the right port? But he's supposed to laugh at you when you die. Guess he didn't laugh at me when I died there. Alright, but yeah, we're taking on the egg driller. Who's battle? Alright. So yeah, lots of nostalgia for this. Um, actually, I don't think there was any battles. I know Hydro City. Um, had one. So yeah, you gotta really manipulate how you're going to uh, take advantage of, you know, going above and underwater against Eggy. Because Eggy will try um, to do what he can to stop you. Alright. 
out for the air there. Uh, the sooner or later in the fight, he's gonna drop more pillars. So. Okay, now he's dropping more pillars. Um, three of them, uh, to be exact. Yeah, come on. Come on, Iggy. Yeah. Uh, oh, there we go. Alright, and Eggman is defeated. Uh, now we're going to move on to um, the next section of Sonic Advance. It is a very familiar place, too, if you take a look. Uh, yes, Angel Island! Yes, we're back on Angel Island. Angel Island Zone. Too bad this is not a remix of Angel Island's theme, but yeah, we're here on Angel Island. Knuckles is home. I think it's more so just Sky Sanctuary. Because it's definitely where it's taking advantage of. Um, so I know for a fact there are there is a special ring. I mean a special um I say a special zone. A special talus and talisman. Damn it. A special spring in this zone. So this zone takes trips from uh some of Sonic's other series. Uh, I think Triple Trouble Trope through here. There are um, a lot of knuckles uh SD for your kill card. Hmm. Ooh, there the spikes. And of course everyone's favorite, Buzz Bombers, who make a return in this series. Um they don't look like your typical Buzz Bombers. Um, I think a lot of these enemies might be from uh tropes of other levels and games. Throughout Sonic history, um, but yeah, and a lot of this. Oh, this right here, this kid trap, these setups. All right, and chameleons. All right, down this. Cause I like they gave a little bit of a, a musical track to this. Oh yeah, Angel Island though. I never thought we'd be here. Uh, yeah, Angel Island. Uh, uh. All right, I know let's get to this one. Oh, I'm gonna go with like this. Up here. Uh -huh. right. yeah. dun, dun, dun. I think I'm supposed to go the other way. That's cool. Mm. I'm so tired. We're only 45 minutes in. Actually, that's kind of a good trope, though, because we're 45 in. I'm checking scores and everything. Oh, Mystic, not Mystic Girl, it's Anopolis. Uh, trope. The sand. God, this is what an homage to the Sonic series for Angel Island. I actually need to go to the higher route because I believe that's where uh, that's where what I'm looking for is. I think it's either this one or the other one. Nothing to die. All right. Yeah, I think it's the other one. I think both of these lead to the same place. Oh. Yeah, they do. Okay, so we want to take... I believe we want to take this. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's what I was trying to do in the first zone. Oh, um, just to slow down and hit a... Damn, I had a buzz bomber. Oh shit. Yeah, we gotta be careful there too. I know you're out the way. And thankfully it does not respawn. I wanna take that, yeah, go up here. And I think this is where the session spree is. I know it's above. Now we're above, I don't know. Or well, I don't remember off the top of my head. But Dun, dun, dun. But yeah, we are in spring. We are in um, we are in everyone's favorite, the Angel Island. And although it doesn't look like your typical Angel Island zone, the thing about it that makes that makes this unique for it being an Angel Island um, is, of course, it's taking a lot of the tropes from Angel Island originally. Um, Ah. Ah. Ha ha ha! Nice shot. Um. <sighs> Ooh. Oh. 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 Sorry, I think it's a level. Damn. Okay. Okay. I at least made it. Ooh, that peach tea. I need so much sugar. <laughs> All right, Angel Island Zone Act Two. <sighs> First accidental walk off death. All right, so Angel Island Act Two has its bottomless pit. Um, it uses clouds for jumping, I believe. Uh, Angel, not Angel Island, but itself. But um, you should remember the level jump. Uh. Sky Sanctuary did something similar. Ooh, almost died there. Uh, Sky Sanctuary did something similar where it uh, used um, a similar trope. Uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so we got a lot of these chameleons here. I think those are also remnants of Angel Island as well. Because I know one level of Angel Island had chameleon enemies. Uh, but. <laughs> Ugh, excuse me, the flickies, the flickies, our little friends. Um, Eggman's up to no good. I, I, I should have explained the plot too before I went any further, but I mean, the plot's kind of simple. Uh, Eggman's trying to use the power of the Chaos Emerald to conduct his new machines, and his machines are filled with, of course, our little friends, the flickies. So, Sonic and his friends team up to take on. Eggman and Eggman's uh, army of robots. Uh, we have a lot of tropes and stuff here that each of the characters themselves uh, have their own abilities and unique setups to help them throughout. So unfortunately for Sonic and Tail, I mean Sonic and uh, Sonic and Amy, uh, they don't have what Knuckles and Tails have, which is you know the ability to glide. The ability to climb and get ability to get back to or get to higher places without trouble. Um, fun fact is that the next game, Sonic Advance 2, um, well, actually, no, they have been meaning to try to do something with Sonic in terms of his lack of abilities by making him faster and giving him faster abilities. You know, I think the boost. Um, the boost was something that I think Sonic Team equates to Sonic now as a way for him to avoid water. Um, doesn't really help too much because there's only games where he has to boost and there is water. Um, he doesn't run out of power. And I tend to run out of ranks. Uh, Alright. I think that was a delicious peach. Now if it has some sugar in it. Ooh, it'd be sad. I do got some sugar now. I just have to put it in there. I was waiting for it to steep. I have, what is it? Tevia? Um. 
Tibia tea bag I bought from Walmart. And actually, I didn't know Walmart had sold Tibia until I looked online. Because I had looked on Target, and then Target was like, yeah, we don't have this. I was like, fuck. But then I looked on... Oh! Okay. Wait! There it is! This is There it is, guys! This is a special spring. Um, and a special spring will send you to a special world. Um, to where we can collect the chaos emotes and bask in the glory that is the special world music. So, because this is stage six, um, we have to be prepared. So, the gimmick here is to make sure that Sonic and friends uh, can get to these drinks. I am doing horrible. You can do tricks and tropes to collect the rings as much as you possibly can. Um, but your gimmick here is to collect rings um, on a board. Okay, and try to dodge these bombs because I'm doing horribly at trying to collect um, stuff for this. Um, fuck. And I think that was the last of it, yeah. But uh, you can only come into a special stage uh, once per level. Uh, sadly. So, no special rings for us. Uh, I could have did it easily, but I, I'm, I'm not good at special stages. So, yeah. so, right now, it is just a regular story. But if we find it, come back again for a different character, uh, we'll be able to traverse the special stage. With that said, we should be near the end of Sonic Advance. I mean, it's of Sonic Advance. Uh, we should be at the end of the level. And I believe we should be coming past the checkpoint. Yep. Alright, so the boss of Angel Island Zone is. Knuckles! What? Yeah, it's Knuckles. Knuckles is our enemy, but Knuckles looks a little different. The Eggman Duke Knuckles again. We hope not. But yeah, this is um this is our fight against Knuckles. <laughs> or so we're to believe it's Knuckles. No. It is Mecha Knuckles. Eggman's latest creation. And he hits like Knuckles. He ain't look like Knuckles. But he is not our he is not our knuckles. Um, one thing I am trying to make sure he doesn't do is um, he shoots missiles at us. Yeah, he can shoot missiles at us. Um, oh shoot! Yeah, he's there. We go. Let's say you know he's only doing this because his master gave him more point. But yeah, uh, knuckles was our enemy. Hey, rude. Alright, but yeah, bam, that's it. We are at the end of um Angel Island though. And now we are at Egg Rocket though. Uh, hold on one second. I'm going to pause for just a bit. Um because I want to get some sugar in this tea and take this tea bag out. Just a quick question. How do you guys with tea bags? Are you are you a you know, are you, do you squeeze the tea bag? Do you um you know, do, do, do you just you know sit it in there? You shake it. Some people are like that. I'm one of those people. I don't. I squeeze the tea bag. I gotta get every bit of you know concentration out of it as I can. Normally. What I do with something like this since it's, it's cold tea. I, I, I like to sit my cold tea out. Uh, I have a thermal water jug, if you will, and I like to keep my cold tea. I like to keep my water and stuff in, and what I do is during the summer, I like to be cold tea. And I like to the gang sugar, right? <laughs> um, you know, because cold tea is the way it's brewed is different than what 
you know, what you normally do. I like to take, oh, yeah, I can make some sugar. Um, uh, I like to take cold tea and I like to just, you know, put it together and, oh, and I like to let the tea sit for a few hours. And then when the tea is ready, I will take the sugar and then I'll put the sugar in the tea. Mmm. 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 Ooh, all that peach. Mmm. Oh, that tastes good. Alright. Egg Rocket Zone. So, this is a two-part level. Um, because there's no Egg Rocket Zone Act 2. Uh, Eggman's ship is in the background. But we'll be going to it. Um, because now we are... In fully entered Eggman's uh, base uh, as we are right now. So if we turn back, we cannot. There's no turning back now. So yeah, we are in Eggman's rocket zone. And actually, as you can see there, we have a countdown. Uh, we have to oh, dodge stuff too. Uh, we need to get to the next part as soon as possible. Then the counter will reset. Because uh, we are actually on a rocket going upwards. Um, the Eggman has designed uh, to lead us into outer space. Which I mean for Sonic, that's nothing new going to outer space. So. Ah, no. I do not want to get sprung. Uh, over there. No, we want to go this way because that's a trap. Um, and when I was younger, I fell for it. So, um, or is it a trap? I think that might have been the right way. I think it might have been waiting for a platform or something. Yeah, we might be trying to yeah get to a platform. Okay, and now we need to just take this spring and go up. All right. And take this. It's a lot easier with the others because the others, um, excluding Amy, <clears throat> excuse me, can fly and you know do all their tricks and stuff to get up here. Um, so hold on, we are almost done with this next half because right above us is the next part of the rocket. All right. Oof, we almost got back. Okay. And, and don't worry, none of these platforms will try to kill you. Um, this one, oh god, I hate this one. This is, this is my least favorite one. This, so we need to get to this. And then it's gonna lead us here. And then, eh. Okay. I'm gonna take this one up. Oh. Right. Here. Go up. Take these upward. And go up here. Take this. Go down. Take this. And all right. Mm. <laughs> now we're on part three of Egg Rocket. Man, uh, I believe Egg Rocket part three has another bullshit part of the level as well. And I don't like it. But, uh, I'm doing so good yeah, so far. Just don't have any troubles. But yeah, this is the, you know, ah, no, I caught it. And troubles. All right, but we are back to where we started. Yeah, when you die in a rocket, you go 
back to the part of the level that you entered in. So since we had hit the middle part of the rocket, we are now here on the middle part of the rocket. Okay, little piece of shit. Mm -mm. And I have to remind myself that I had to make a, a, a thumbnail for a Sonic Advance. I was trying to make one while I was getting everything else set up. And then it, for some reason, just did not want to work. Ah, there we go. Uh, I want to come this way. Um, if I come, because if I go that way, I have to dodge a... I have to precisely jump on top of a spring, and I don't have time for that. Oh, and thank God those enemies don't shoot anything at me. There are going to be a pair of enemies that will shoot us later. Not the Octos, though. I'll go fuck them. Um. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that's the tea. Mm. Oh, and it's really good, too. If you've never had um, peach tea before, peach tea is very strong with peach flavor. Um. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta watch out for these barrel spike, uh, spike barrels. Um, they will have. Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. All right. Spike barrels. Yeah, they will have. Um, spikes on them, and while they rotate, they will do unspeakable evils. Oh, and here's my other least favorite part of this level. Uh, precision platforming, ladies and gentlemen. Precision platforming. In my Sonic game? Blasphemy! No, it's, it's legit. Well, you gotta be careful of that, and this is why I hate this level. Ugh. Alright. Oh. And others have an easier time with this. We don't. Uh, uh, it's because all these damn enemies. Uh. Mm. Is that death number three? He does not have his tricks here in this game. He doesn't use his trick moves to advance two. Which sucks, because I love having Sonic when he has uh, his abilities from basically advance two, because advance three tries to do it, but you need to have it with certain characters for him to do certain actions. Like in advance two, he can do um, a spin kick. He can do a... Um, he can do his bounce attack, he can do a, sub a backward somersault, all these awesome maneuvers. Unfortunately, they stripped him of this in Sonic Advance 3, um, in regard to you having to have one of Sonic's friends as a teammate. Basically, you need Tails. When Sonic and Tails are together, um, they speed each other up. Sonic will be, um, if it's Sonic as the lead, what Tails will do is a uh, he'll be your flight while if sonic is your your partner um in that game he will uh he will give you a speed boost and he'll rev you up to speed up speed up and speed over things right. oh why not just do that uh, it's probably yeah because i didn't know all right dun, 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 dun. Alright, so... Forward... Oh, fuck. Fuck that enemy. So much. That's also why I said easy, because there be so many enemies here, and they're all trying to kill you. Oh, see? 
Ugh. I have one ring. Okay, good. I have multitude of rings. Fuck. I hate this part of the level. I hate this part of the level. I hate any level that does that. Stop doing gimmicky shit. Uh. Oh, come on. Thank you. Ugh. Piss off. Right. All right, and now we're in the final part of the egg rocket. We have now reached outer space. Hmm. All right. I believe we're still on a countdown, right? Yep, yeah, we're still on a countdown. But uh, at least most of the big stuff is out of the way. And now we are in outer space and we're trying to and now we're infiltrating Eggman's headquarters. Um uh, Oh, anti-gravity. Yay. So I hate this. Oh. Fuck. That timing and shit. <laughs> hey, I forgot they used the original invincibility thing. Damn it! To do a lot of a lot of this. Excuse me. I try to jump over this. All right. Like that, come that way. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Let's do two minutes and thirty seconds. And what sucks is like I'm really trying to fight these things. Uh no no no. Thank you. Okay. I'm go through, I'm go through. Okay. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now it's gonna send us to this spring and collect these rings. Ah. Uh. Okay. And I think we should be towards the home stretch. my eyes oh people please be careful there's flickering there okay. Ugh, I gotta kill this 
is the shooter. Another one to fight with me. Hey. Okay, so I just gotta wait for that. Hey. Oh, there's another one that's right. This is the uh this is the other part of the level I hate because now time is crunching. And you have to deal with all these flying enemies. And bears of spikes. Alright. We need to go up. And then, oh, that's right, this. <sighs> okay, so yeah, we just had to. Oh my god, we only got 10 minutes, 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, no, one. Oh, do we make it? Oh, we did. Okay. Ooh, cosmic angels, though. Mm. We have now fully infiltrated. Eggman's base of operations and of course this level has a anti-gravity section it's just a stone but well, welcome to cosmic angels uh, the last of Eggman's stronghold in sonic advance um he's already built his death machine by the way um so we're basically on our way to destroy it. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I want to show you where the last special rig is. Um, for Cosmic Angels. Uh, and actually, we're not too far from it. Uh, if all these damn enemies will stop trying to find me. Mm -hmm. um, Alright. Oh, you pieces of ugly shit. Uh, that was the way to the damn ring. Into the ancestral spring. What was it? Oh. I don't think so. Oh, I think it was. But yeah, here's the trope of this level. Anti-gravity. Jesus Christ, dims in these damn fucking bikes everywhere. <laughs> and I didn't even touch me. Ugh, I hate it here. Uh, uh, uh. I'm actually kind of glad this isn't like advanced too. Oh, but on a whole different level of just what the fuck. All right, 
grab the boss. Um, it's time to flip Eggy. So this is the Egg Flipper. Your ad, your mission is to flip Eggy up, right side up. Oh, be careful of the orbs. Um, uh, they will try to come for you. What was that? Oh, nothing. Okay, I'm tripping. Oh, sorry. Something was spooky. Okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Never mind, I died. <sighs> Alright, let's try this again. Oh, yeah, that's. Uh, I wanna go here. Here. Right, and then take this warp hat to lead us to the boss. Alright. About 37 of our rings in hand. Alright, now with three rings in hand. They're taking on Eggman and the fun. I think the official name for this enemy is the Egg Flipper. Don't quote me on that, because I may be completely wrong. Or maybe it's Egg Topsy Turvy? I mean, this is Eggman we're talking about. Damn it. I wish we were mighty. The Mighty um, has an immunity to spikes. Jackass. He did that on purpose. Ah, no ring. Uh. I'm surprised I haven't thrown that book out. I don't even need it. Damn it. Oh, sure. Ugh. Mm. 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 Uh, for the seventh boss, this is not an easy trope. Ah, shit. Ch sorry. Alright. 
Let's go, Aggie. I was like, that's hard on that shot. Good. One. Two. Okay, watch out for the purple. The purple. I was gonna say purple walls. Well, I mean, they are purple. Watch this for them. Okay, three. Four. Seven. Fuck. Just one more hit away. All you poor thing. Ah. And this is gonna take us straight to Eggman. Hmm? Two. Got you four, baby. Oh, shit. Five. Uh, I hate this. Wow, we are so close. Like, literally, this is the only thing I hear about this boss, is that he's controlled like this. I mean, I mean there's no... Well, the running bosses are a lot, in my opinion, a lot less bullshit. No, Ice Paradise. Just fuck that boss. We got an ice paradise. Ugh. That's four. Damn. Ugh. Alright. And that's it. We are done with Act 2, Cosmic Angel. And now we are at Zone X Zone. And first up... Huh? A callback to classic Eggman, we have the Wrecking Ball boss with a remix of the Wrecking Ball of the music from the boss in Sonic in Sonic One. Yeah, although it does not take as many hits as the original one did. Yeah, we have homages to classic Eggman. Next up is. A remix of classic Eggman with the drill tank. Think more homage to classic Eggman. Where the Sonic 2 boss battle theme is being played. And just like in boss in Sonic 2's boss battle, it gets exterminating. Alright. So now we're gonna go up. We're gonna hit this. And are we gonna have a classic variation? I have a modern variation of Sonic 3's boss. Uh, 
Not exactly. Oh, fuck. Right. Eh? Uh, so, yeah, Eggman's boss battle here. Um, be very careful. He has a bomb thrower, he has a laser, and he has a... Ah, shit, a... No telling which one of these he will use on you. But dodge him. Uh bomb ball. Bomb ball. Ugh. Oh yeah, now he'll start moving. Come on, AK, hit me. <laughs> Laser. <sighs> Ooh, Jack. All right, we got two more charms or three. I think zero counts for Sonic. Mario, it doesn't. Alright. But first. Oh. He can do that from close range. Alright. I walked into that one. Alright, come on, come on, we can do this. Straight hand, huh? Two. Er, uh, ball. Okay, pass ball. Fuck me. Dang. Oh. It's hard to predict. Ugh. Come on, up here. All right, one more. One more. We gotta make this one count. Uh, he is for Urius. And he can't move towards us. Uh, I 
hate this boss so much. <laughs> Decent of high score. <sighs> uh, excuse me. Yeah, all right. I think, yeah, because Sonic is the only one we get to final zone right now. If we hadn't already played with the others, so all right. Oh wow, you only start with two lives? What? Wow, they I don't know, hope you died. <laughs> Alright, well you're at this right. We're gone. I know I'm actually quite shocked that they run back the uh, previous bosses to pay homage to those because maybe you haven't played the original one and two mm. when I have homage to it ah! grab those we need to all right now it's time to fight Eggman's final contraption with the egg gong, the egg tower. Uh, well, shit. <sighs> oh, well, we know here, don't get caught. Oof, I was trying to hit his ass. Got him. At least one. Uh, jackass. All right, let him. Ha! Or just die. Jesus Christ. I swear I'm not bad at this game. <sighs> Sonic, you had one job. Follow the laser beam. Oh. 
I was trying to hit him. Getting the normal ass with it. I'm using ass with it. That's some shit. I forgot the Chinese Chow Garden was here. Uh, I guess I should show it off while I have the channel. You know, so. Um, so yeah, there's this thing called the Chinese, the Tiny Chow Garden in the Sonic Advance series. Um, Advance 1 has it, and Advance 2 you have to unlock it, and Advance 3 does not have it at all. Um, which you're supposed to do is that um, so you have this egg just like any other egg and it's a chow so the chow garden as we all know from my playthroughs with adventure one and two uh was a thing they implement in adventure one ah its name is martin you're changing your name child so you can change the name of your chow uh, I'm definitely changing the name of mine. We're going to name it. <sighs> name me Stanley. I don't even have enough letters. Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. Stanley. So, bam. So yeah, two different mini games. I believe one of them I'm going to inside for dinner. Oh, is there a shop? I think there's a shop. Um. Oh, here it goes. So yeah, you can buy another chow, um, or you can buy a different fruit. Um. When you're done, press start and save and exit. And then you can also buy toys for the chow. So. We're gonna give this chow a fruit. And yeah. So the mini games. You can play a game of rock, paper, scissors, but be careful because you may hit something that you don't want to hit. Alright. Yeah, and it's a roulette of Rock, paper, scissors. So, yeah. 
It's it looks stupid, trust me. But yeah. And I think you get ring strength. Yeah, I got like seven rings. Then you have the match game. So you take a good glimpse of everything on the board and then hope the child did not move it. The location of where the uh card is is how many more points you get. So for instance, these candies. And I will be there's a melon here and a melon there. No, there's candy. Lollipop. Alright. Nanner. Cake. Yeah, so I got it wrong. But yeah, that's the gist of it. And I got a drink from pay attention to me or I'm going to run away. Also, weeds. You need to pick these up and get rid of them. Uh, there really isn't much you can do in the tiny child garden because it was basically just to be a little homesick for your child that you moved from one game to another. And I do believe only certain child can be in the area at a time. So. Yeah. Watch me fuck this up. Yep. Yeah. Already one mistake. <sighs> yeah. Memory games are not my strong suit. Right. Yeah, these are another way you can get um items. I should have screenshot it. Oops. <sighs> no. Ah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, this is Sonic Advance 1, and it's not really too much in Sonic Advance 1 to really talk about. Um, and the reason why I said it was Session 1 was because, of course, we have five other characters we have to play. Yeah, so why don't we go ahead and play this in? So, Tails! Ladies and gentlemen, Tails, the boy genius. So, Tails, um, just like Sonic Advance 1, has his tail attack. He can fly. Uh, we only fly for a certain amount of time. And just like Sonic, he can roll into a wall and do a spin dash. Um, which I thought was also about Tails and Knuckles, was that when they became playable, you were able to do the same, you know, generic tricks that Sonic can. Uh, one thing Tails can't do that Sonic can uh, is glide. I mean, not glide, um, grind rails, uh, which I don't believe I can show. Oh, no, I can't. So, yeah. Uh, unfortunately for us, Tails cannot grind on rails. That is Sonic in Amy only. So, as you can see, I am trying to get on the grind rail. And to no cigar does it happen. But yeah, Sonic is the only one who can- Sonic and Amy are the only two who can grind on rails. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 fixes that- I mean, Sonic Advance 2 fixes that, because I think it's right around the time Heroes comes out, where Sonic teaches Knuckles and Tails how to grind. This is all the parts of the game, okay? But yeah, so, as you can see, yeah, Tails can fly. Um, Tails' flying abilities can come- very handy, especially for what we're about to do next, which is to, to try to look for Chaos Emeralds. So in each of the seven stages, you'll have the ability to obtain a Chaos Emerald, just like we did before. 
So in this world, um, I believe the oh, it's right here at the end. Um, yeah, we have this buzz bomber, but we also have a platform. That platform will take us to the uh, special ring. Now, I don't know how the hell Sonic didn't get to this, but yeah, it's right here. So we're going to play uh, in special stage one. So first goal, collect 60 rings. Uh, these ring numbers will increase. Um, I do believe there's a marker on how many you can chain. Um, I've never been good with chaining or trying to obtain rings in this game. But what I can tell you is that I'm really good at it in Sonic Advance 2. Um, because Sonic Advance 2's gameplay is... Shit. Oh, it's not shit, but uh, I fucked up the lane. Oh, we were so close. Hey, you don't have to rub it in my face, damn it. Alright, but that was the. That's. The special ring for Act 1. And then we get Tails' this nice little animation of him running. And then on to Act This by the game. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out is there any more stuff to talk about with Sonic? Um, advanced. Only this not. You know, we're just now playing as a different character uh, to help get some of that out of the way. Um, I think there were cheat codes for Sonic in there. Um, don't quote me on them. And are we on top of trees? Yeah, we're on top of trees. And that is a spring. And as a coconut, trying me. And let his ass try you. <laughs> Alright. There he is. Hey, a head. Alright. And now Tails takes off the egg hammer tank. Uh, the reason why I know this. Uh, contraption's name is the Egg Hammer Tank, uh, is because in Sonic Advance 2, um, Eggman uses this machine again. He, what is he using again? I think me, oh, Green Horse. Um, so, he uses it. Alright, nice. And somehow tells off-screen beat up Eggman. Ugh. That never gets old. Alright, but yeah, that is it. We are done with um uh, with Neo Green Hill Zone Act 1 and 2. Uh, uh, now we are in Secret Base Zone Act 1. Dun -na -dun -na -dun -na -dun. Dun -na 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 down. Alright. So now we are here with Tail. Oh, excuse me. Oh, all that extra. 
So it might be a little easier for Tails to get to the special room than it was for Sonic in Act 2. Uh, but yeah, maybe it's just here. Um, what was it that I wanted to talk about? I don't think I have the chance to talk about anything um, like I wanted to. Actually, no, we are in a Sonic game. We can talk about Sonic news. So, um, some more news has come out from Sonic Frontiers. There were leaks, love leaks. Uh, the leak was that uh, Sonic uh, Frontiers leaks. And I know a lot of people are very skeptical about Sonic Frontiers, but there is some stuff going on at Game Fest. There's a demo out for Sonic Frontiers. So someone was playing the demo. And there's a level up system for um, Sonic. And your moves and stuff can be leveled up in the game. And you can basically power up your moveset, which is cool because um, a lot of us have wanted that. You know, I've wanted it since a um, good portion of Sonic games. Jesus Christ. I know this is itchy. Okay. But yeah, there is a lot you can do with um, with a system like that because it can encourage players, you know, to invest in saving particular items and stuff like that. They really get a hold of being Sonic. You know, it reminds me of Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood. Um, you know, where you had to level up Sonic, and then Sonic was able to do stuff. Or, uh, Sonic Battle with Emerald. And Emerald, uh, he needed Chaos Emeralds to do a lot of the stuff he did in the series. Uh, 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 uh. Up here. Up here. Oh, uh. these the same way. Oh, I'm thinking of Act 2. Cause this is gonna lead to the end of the level yeah so yeah i mean it's it's stuff like that that really intrigues as a player <laughs> to want to pursue playing the game all right and now we are on sonic we are on a secret base act two so this is where chaos involved um spring is oh. do -do 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 And go up. Do, 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 do. Now I think where it is is that it's on top of a spring. That's on top of a spring. That's near a spring. Get up the way. There we go. Ooh, excuse me. There it is, this is actually the spring. No, if I am not mistaken. I think, ah, we missed it. Damn it. I wasn't supposed to, uh, I was supposed to slow down. Shit. Na, 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 na. And now, unfortunately, no, you can't go back. That was the cutoff point for the level was where that um where the connecting cables were for the grapple actually the grapple reminds me of flying battery zone um actually a lot of this can remind you of flying battery because flying battery um did a whole lot of mechanisms that you could take them to take you to other places uh. Flying battery 
chemical plant in Metropolis. I also love how the fact that this clips right through. Alright. And now we gotta deal with spring. I'm more of a I'm really more of a spring guy, but oh shit. I that was on me. Damn. Taking advantage of the invincibility. Damn. And I tap to destroy. Oh no, sorry for Casino Paradise. Oh, the tails. Did I slip through the boat? Yes, I did. Slip through the boat. So, yeah, back to Sonic and his frontier. Um, there's been a lot of controversy behind Sonic, and I, I, I don't want to waste my opinion about Sonic Frontiers and where I stand in Frontiers. Um, as we learned uh, last week, oh, there is a death plane. I mean, a death zone. Okay. Well, as we learned from the last Sonic, from one of the Sonic, the Sonic Frontiers, um, Sonic Central event earlier this week, that uh yeah there is going to be a um bit of a different pace to for sorry right now, to uh to the game and izuka has said he wants to try to use this engine for frontiers to create sonic adventure 3. Now, how much of this is true, we don't know, but, it, you know, I always thought that they had a fail safe in case, you know, it doesn't work out, let's do, you know, let's give them Adventure 3, you know, let's give the fans what they want, let's give them Adventure 3. I personally don't need an Adventure 3. Uh, it's me, I do one and two are perfectly fine, but if you want to make a trilogy, it's going to take you 20 years to do said trip. Um, the other issue that I have is that I think personally everyone else is losing their goddamn mind. I think the game looks really good. I think the game looks true. Now, despite the fact that, according to IGN, they had a, build a builder's mod. A, a builder's set kit of it. They did not have the actual demo that was supposed to be out because apparently it seemed like the game was not finished. Which, to be fair, that shouldn't surprise no one. A game, but that is said to have been five years or so in the making, is going to need time to be built. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of things. Now, if Sonic Team decides that they're going to delay the game, then that's perfectly fine. My thing about it is that the fan base needs to take a fucking chill pill. And remember that Yujinaka and them, it's not their fault. They're just doing, you know, what they're supposed to. They make you Sonic games. They make money. You know, they put a smile on their face. They get happy. And the whole uproar is because no one wants another Sonic Forces. Which is understandable, because for those who don't know, Sonic Forces uh, left a really sour taste in everyone's mouth. Uh, there was so much stuff talked about with Sonic Forces that it is insane how Sonic Forces even got off the cutting room floor, considering how much mess 
it had attached to it. Um, for those who don't know, what was the mass attached to Sonic Forces? Ah, huh, well, I'll start from the beginning. Um, during product during the writing process of it, um, Aaron Weber, the the former uh, PR person for Sonic Two, uh, was the was in charge of helping out with the game. Well, he offered to, um, you know help with writing and help with the production of the story of the game. And they told him no. Yeah, I, we're not lying. Oh, is this supposed to be a reference to the barrels? It's like three are supposed to be references to that. Ugh, don't make that reference. Anyway, so yeah, they were, he was trying to help fix the game. And, you know, at least fix the story. He said it himself. The story for Sonic Forces is a hot mess, and it is. And Aaron directly didn't say it. What initially happened was someone leaked files of it, and I, it was an interview with Aaron talking about Sonic Forces, and um, with some developers from Sonic Forces talking about Sonic Forces, and it was a hot mess. Um, it was basically Sonic 06 again. And for those who don't know what happened during Sonic 06, uh, half the team quit that was part of Sonic Team during Sonic Forces. And Sonic Forces' team, because this is a major hitter, that said, we want nothing to do with this game, because this is not the game that we signed up for. This is not the game that we want to deal with. Because it was, they said it was so many different things that were going on with the game. Um, the story was a mess. Aaron tried to fix it. Um, I believe Sergio, who was also part of Sonic Team's PR set, left Sonic Team. Or I think they said he got fired? Like, I don't know how much of that was true. But Sergio left Sonic Team is basically what happened. And a lot of people said it may have had to do with how Sonic Forces ended up being. And I said, is it that bad? And... You know, people were speculating, and I think Sergio wrote a statement saying, you know, his depart about his departure from Sonic Team. And I believe that's when they hired Katie. Katie became one of the new faces for Sonic Team's PR team. Which, good on Katie, because Katie has a lot of stuff she has to handle now. And one of the big things that she's actually doing and handling is the rambunctiousness of Sonic fans, because... Yeah, a lot of you guys need a chill pill. And she's really just trying to do her job. Um, uh, did I miss the ring? Yeah, I guess so. This is the battle. That's one stage. Alright. So, yeah. In, you know, handling PR, I'm sure, can be very detrimental. And, and, and Katie is doing her best. Like, homegirl is, is she's bad in tens um, in the department and you know it's like Katie said they're doing their best right now to give the Sonic fans and those who are future Sonic fans a game that they can be proud of I think more so of we know we screwed up forces we're going to try to fix frontiers to where Frontiers doesn't end up like Forces. If Frontiers needs another year, it's fine. Like, I don't think we're itching that bad for another Sonic game. I mean, I, you know, if you want to just do a whole bunch of, you know, rehashing, then do such. But please don't force a game out if the game is not ready. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of that going on with Frontiers. Now, let's talk about Sonic Origins. And I've been waiting to get to Sonic Origins because I'm sure a lot of people have my thoughts on Origins is. So, I don't mind another collection game. I think that's perfectly fine. What the issue is with Sonic Front with Sonic, um, with Sonic Origins is now the music issue. And I've always said that music with Sonic Team, especially when it comes to Sonic 3 and K, 
will be one of their biggest issues because of what's been transpired. So, I didn't get a chance to talk about this in my Yu-Gi-Oh! last year, but I didn't get a chance to talk about it now because I'm in the Sonic last year. So, back when Sonic 3 was being developed, uh, Mr. Uh, Michael Jackson, for those who know MJ, Mr. Jackson helped ghostwrite and ghost compose a lot of the music um, for Sonic 3 and K. I believe it was several stages, both their acts 1 and 2. Uh, Knuckles' is theme from that game, and a couple of other things as well that were attached to um, Sonic 3 and K. So, the special stages, uh, player 2 stages, a couple of more stuff that was eventually added on. So what eventually happened was that, you know, here we are in the year of 2022. Um, Mr. Jackson passed away 13 years ago, um, uh, 2009, and you know it it's it you know it's a lot to, to take in because Mr. Jackson, you know, a fantastic artist, um, multi-millionaire, you know, mind. And yes, he had a lot of problems. Um, a lot of those he was acquitted for. Um, also, um, one thing before I go any further, uh, Tails can dog paddle. Yeah, Tails can swim. Unlike Sonic, Tails can swim. He can't swim for too long. It's just like his flight, but underwater. And Tails can do that. So, back to where we were. So with the issues going on, um are basically due to Jackson's estate not giving Sonic Team the the stuff, the the material to do, you know, the the games. Or the music rather. It's an issue with music. And most people will say, okay, well why you guys you know and I'm asking this too, it's like well, why don't you guys buy the masters? You knew that Michael had passed. You said you were having issues with, you know, a lot of the stuff originally. Well, why didn't you buy the Masters to avoid it? You know, is money that much of an issue? Do you owe them money? You know, there's a lot of things that they're not speaking on. So, a few days ago, during the Sonic Team live stream, uh, where they talk about product and, and all that Sonic related, Katie and them talk about Sonic Origins. At this current time, Jin is in the studio uh, right now making reimagined tracks of the iconic music from Sonic 3 and K to where I guess they can legally get around the issue of the Sonic 3 music not being what it's supposed to be. Some people are saying, well, why don't you just use the prototypes? Because the prototypes are not everyone's cup of tea. I'm also thinking that maybe there's some issues with that there, that they still did not get the license. You had 20 years. You had a whole, you had over 20 years to secure this. You had 13 years to communicate with someone from the estate to see about the music because Sonic Classic Collection came out at, I believe a year after Jackson's death if not a year or two and people were still saying well you ported those games you even have you know makeups or resets for just in case this happened and they're not using them so everyone is at a point where well, what's the real issue? Why is Sonic 3's music so hard to obtain? So, yeah. Like, what? what's the deal? Did someone just fuck up and not buy the Masters? So, Eggman's boss, if you want to take it on as Tails, simplest thing to tell you. Swim up for your air, or swim to the, um, the Fallen Icicles. Ugh. Is this the only Eggman boss that doesn't laugh when he get hurt? I guess not. 
So, yeah, it is still a lot of questions and a lot of Sonic fans, just like myself, want answers. Because, you know, dabbing into the music industry, you can see, oh, he does laugh. You can, you know, there are ways around this. There were ways to, quote, avoid this. Why did no one think of any of this before the man died? Or when you found out the man was sick? Why didn't she try to talk to his estate still, you know? Or hell, after the man's estate, you know? Whoever owns the estate, who owns the money and the rights to the music, you know? Those are the people you talk to, because apparently, Something's going on behind the scenes, and no one's saying anything. They're trying to keep it very hush-hush. I think what it is is that they owe Jackson to state money, and damn, that's just yeah. And they don't want to admit that they owe the state money, so they're trying to keep things under wraps. And to us Sonic fans, it's very unfair because, you know, this is an iconic music that we have heard from. He, they can't even use the demos of the music. And I think there was something for like a master system or like a PC port of Sonic 3. And even that music can't be used. So apparently now June is in the studio trying to work out what he can do with the music tracks to avoid, you know, the copyright issues. Mind you, this game comes out at on the 23rd. So it's literally, what is it, it's the 11th, we have 12 more days till Sonic Origins comes out. And now they're working on the music. Like, guys, where are your priorities? This is exactly what happened with Sonic Forces. I'm just gonna say that now. <laughs> oh, the reason why I'm dying but I haven't lost the life is because um, the level, ca the, the visual cap for lives at nine. And I probably went over that by doing all the crazy shit I did. So. Okay. <sighs> also, I also like how Tails, when uh, we started to fight earlier, had an exclamation point above his head. So yeah, it is a lot going on and a lot of people just do not know what the answer is. And hell, I got questions. Like, somebody tell me. Like, I need some answers. Like, what are y'all really doing over there? Oh, yeah, I, I forgot you can cheat this boss. It's Tails. I think Tails is probably the only one you can cheat this boss with. Um, because you can fly up. And because there's space next to where he is, I believe he can do a couple of tail swipes. So, yeah, that is just my little instinct on, you know, Sonic, the Sonic issue as of right now, you know? You have the money, just give the state the money, unless you owe them, then that's your fault, and you owe somebody some money. Like, it's just, it's just a mess. It really is. It's just a, a hot mess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like I said, I'm not too happy about any of the situations going on with Sonic's, with the games that are supposed to celebrate his anniversary. <sighs> I'm praying for future Sonic games. I'm praying for them all. This also kind of leads back into what, um, um, what is it, Tommy Otani said, that it's hard to redo or try to fix up music from previous games. And I wonder, does that have to do with Sonic Team as well? You know, do you have to pay to get a lot of that stuff back? Or do you have to pay to get a lot of stuff working um, with some of the other artists that are associated? Because um, Passion and Pride, uh, Anthems with Attitude, the Sonic, um, the Sonic, what was it? The Sonic, Ge not generation the 20th anniversary no i think it was 23rd or 24th anniversary of sonic's um of sonic the hedgehog they released a album called passion and pride and on the passion and pride albums 
are the vocal themes for SA1 and SA2. Not all of the vocal team themes, because remember, certain levels had pure vocal themes. Rouge, um, Shadow, Knuckles, and um, Sonic had vocal themes. Unfortunately, Eggman and Tails uh, did not. But, you know, they had like orchestras, they had like bands and everything, you know, working on music for these, for these, um, for these levels. And according to Tommy Otani, who was one of the major producers um, and composers for that, said, yeah, we're kind of having some issues trying to get this to you guys because you know we don't have a lot of the stuff we used to have or access to a lot of the people that we used to have access to to get a lot of these things going so passion and pride just ended up being a remaster of a lot of the vocal themes and stuff i think with the exception of no no it was all of them and then they even made an extra track now here's the crazy thing for those who don't know there is a version of open your heart the main theme from sonic adventure that was supposed that is on the japanese version of passion and pride yes the, there's an instrumental version an, inter, an instrumental track list as well and i think that's the one that holds the vocal themes for eggman um both of Knuckles, both of Sonic's, both of Tails, Amy's, Shadows, and Rouge's themes. There's vocal, there's um, instrumental tracks for them. And they're not on the, the, they're all there except for Open Your Heart. There's a variation of Open Your Heart instrumental that did not get released in the digital or the international version of Passion Pride. For what reason that is, we don't know. And that actually is left up to both June and um, Jesse. I mean, Johnny. Johnny Giarelli and Jen Sano, because that's Crush 40s, you know, music. So maybe they wanted to do a remix of it, and maybe Johnny was busy, or maybe Jen was busy, and they just didn't have enough time. But, you know, it still leaves answers unsaid. Well, actually, no, the answers weren't unsaid. The answers did get a answered. The questions did get answered because Tommy Otani was the one that spoke on it and said, yeah, there are a lot of songs that are missing. And that's simply because, of, like I said, and from his words, from an interview, uh, time, you know, equipment, and just the placement of where things were just didn't add up for everybody. And if he could, he would have loved to have done it. Um, he even said he would love to have done more music for Sonic Rock Runners, but unfortunately, Sonic Runners had its lifespan cut short. And I do know there's a fan project that has revived um, Sonic Runners. Uh, the fans have done it. Um, they've taken out all the roulette. They have taken in. Um, it's a way to retrieve your save data from the original game. Or you can start your own new save data. I think it's basically taking new save data and creating what was Sonic Runners. And it, it from what I've seen, it looks good. Uh, I know Sonic Team has tried to redo. I th I don't know exactly what the issue is about Sonic Runners, but from what I've heard, it was a project that Sonic Team America was is responsible for, and I believe they backed out or it just wasn't enough people to keep the project going so they decided to X the project and it's sad because uh sonic dash and sonic dash 2 are all under sonic team america as well and i think some uh, other mobile games are under sonic team europe so it is very questionable as to well why they couldn't continue the project for sonic runners you know and people act that and we still that was never answered <laughs> So yeah, it's like I said, it's a lot of things that get left on the cutting room floor and a lot of questions we'll never have these answers to. If we had these answers, I would have loved to hear them. Hey! Oh. Alright. So. Yeah. Alright, where are we at now? We are... 
Uh, it was easy. Over two hours in. Cool. So let's see how far we can get with Tails. And then if we... Once, yeah, let's see how far we can get with Tails. I swear to God, if we get to... What's the name? And we win. I'm gonna be so angry. Also, I think the issue is here is I put it on normal. And normal is the hard difficulty. Because that's how the difficulty curve is in Japan. It's easy as normal. Normal is hard. And hard is extremely difficult. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even kidding. And for us, it would be easy as normal. And I was trying... I should set it back to easy. Whenever I get the chance. Because... <sighs> Call me a coward. But I just... <sighs> With enough stuff the advanced series has, I don't need more of it. And I think also it generates extra enemies as well that are not necessary to this. So I do not need extra enemies trying to tear me apart. <sighs> Ooh. So we're almost done with um, Tails' part of this. Um, we're catching up to where Sonic was. It'll be a lot easier because Tails can fly. That is my excuse for most of things that include multiple characters that um, you can use in a game with Sonic and friends. Is that, well, Sonic can't fly. Sonic can't swim. Sonic can't glide. Sonic can't climb, you know, up the now, Advance 3 kind of really just showed Sonic... Advance 2 and 3 really showed how unorthodox Sonic has it. Alright, we're back in special stage 6. Let's, let's get to work. I believe, yep, they start down here. There's some to the right. Uh, there's some up in this corner. Some up here. Okay, do some tricks. Do some more tricks. Do some trick tricks. Huh? Awesome. Okay. And now get some here. Get some there. Alright. Awesome. Okay. And nice. 108. Cool! Alright, now we need to get 180 rings. Oh boy. 180. Okay. So, yeah, they're gonna throw more bombs at us. Uh, that chow um, is a continue. If you would like to continue, if you need to continue, that is what that chow is for. Awesome. Oh, we need to get these. And I unfortunately don't think we'll be able to get, yeah, all of it. Damn. Five short! Oh, five short. We were so close. So close. And we would have had our first chaos for me. Which is also a funny, fun fact, when I played this game, when I first got it, this was my first Chaos Emerald. I did not get the one in Neo Green Hill Zone first. I ended up getting that one last. Um, I ended up getting the Angel Island one first. So yeah, we're almost done actually with the Angel Island. And we're going to be approaching our boss uh, knuckles so there's gonna be different interactions with knuckles depending on the characters that you have so for tails who we're gonna have his interaction in just a moment yeah he believes that that tail knuckles is turning against him oh 
I think it might be a little harder for Tails because, um, or it might be a little easier for Tails. Oh, I just, oh, they made sure no spams, huh? Okay, well, sorry, unlike Sonic, Tails is not that stupid. Yeah, oh yeah, and then here's the missile attack um, that the Knuckles robot can do. Ooh. So yeah, Robo Knuckles is what he's called um, in the official guide. He is Robo Knuckles. And actually, there's a boss battle variant of this as well, where you can encounter um, Mecha Knuckles or Robo Knuckles. Um, I like to say he's Robo Knuckles only because the first half of the fight, he doesn't, he just plays as Knuckles. The second half of the fight is where you really have to be on your P's and Q's. There you go. But yeah, first time you get an inter damn, interaction with an evil enemy who has your moves. It's kind of like a rival character, if you will. Too bad um, you don't get fights like these to the Sonic Battle. Um, you know, where you encounter uh, boss battles like this. Okay. Sorry, I'm having some technical difficulties. Because my opponent isn't just any opponent. It's literally Knuckles. And I'm out of range. Oh yeah, and Tails is glide since I mean Tails is spin since him into a glide. There we go. Oh wow, okay. Well I learned that the hard way. Oh and I'm down to my base left my base numbers. Alright, just keep your wits about you, and Knuckles should be easier. This is easier at Sonic than it was Tails. There we go. Bam, alright. And Mecha Knuckles is defeated. Get back here, you jerk. Oh. Alright, and now Tails takes on the final zone. Um, Egg Rocket slash Cosmic Angel. Alright. I think Tails can easily do this a lot better than Sonic can. Just, well, A, he can fly. Um, B, he can fly. <laughs> Alright, and let the countdown commence. We got five minutes to get to the next area. Uh, I was supposed to do another one. Sure, game. Sure. Oh, why didn't I rev up? Being, being the derp. Oh, they even put that up there. I did. I would have never noticed that. All right. So let's play. Again, I also forgot to uh, mention there are ring boxes here, right? The ring boxes. Um, can with question mark can generate any random number 
between 1 and 50 in terms of range. So there I got 30. Um, I could, and I think it depends on how many rings you get when you come past it. Also, I just cheated halfway through this. And good, because I hate this part. Like, also here, just simply fly into the spring. Yeah. Hmm. Oh no, I didn't even have to go this way. Two. Okay, you know, I passed it and we did with Sonic. Um, I believe we can go up this way. Yep, as the knuckles. And I do believe there's an extra life here. No, it's an invincibility. Even better. Because uh, Sonic would have to take, uh, Amy would have to take the other way. So we gotta protect um, armor. And there are a lot of them around here. They are making sure. We were ready. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm trying, you guys. Alright, let's see. Let's go back. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, God, I hate the collision detection in this. Because I do believe there's a second entrance that you can take to get you. Okay, those are just really. Alright, back inside. And then we should be coming up to. to the higher ranks of the level. Now why just didn't fly my ass up here? You know what? Yeah, I'm doing four step solutions to two step plans. Yes, yeah, over here. Oh, I have to come this way. Okay. And okay, what is the trope over here? Oh, these. Oh, flying up. Da, 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 da. 
Oh shit. Okay. But hitting this. And then going up here. Uh. Bam. And then bam. We are now in outer space. Oh, yeah, no spark. Right. I'll send you down the lower path. Excuse me. <laughs> Oh, I don't have invincibility yet. Oh, ooh, the slowdown is real. Ooh, I felt that. Was that created by the speed shoes? Probably. Okay. Okay, we gotta get speed back here. Use that. Bam! Alright, Sonic Tails are gonna do it. Any more spin than Sonic did? Jesus Christ, Sonic? Alright, Cosmic Angel Act 2. Or right, for Cosmic Angel. Alright. So, we're now just gonna fly up the left. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. Uh. Uh. I clip? I need a clip. Mm -hmm. So we're at the fly, so do -do 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 -do. Oh shit. And bam, here it is. Special stage ring, I mean, special spring seven. All right. Get 100 ring. Get 100. Ah, shit. Oh, and I forget this is because this is the last of the special stages. This child is the hardest to complete. Oh, I mean, I have enough for me to. Uh, 
No, we fail. That's why I said I'm finding a cheat so that I can just get half the chaos. Oh. I hate these special abilities. These are probably my least favorite special abilities. Next to three. All right, well, we're done with Cosmic Angel Central Stage. I showed you guys how to get to it. It's easier to get to with Knuckles and Tails, because, like I said, fly and glide and climb. Let's keep this shit moving, shall we? Um... Mm -hmm. Well, we can take either one. Just which one do you want to not hurt more? Okay. I'm also reading some stuff up. I'm gonna read some stuff up on Sonic Adventure. Because, uh... Live stream 1 is gonna be Tails and Knuckles. I mean, Tails and... And Sonic. Oh, shit. This oh, no, we, uh, that's why I know how getting hit the first couple of times. And, uh. Ooh, th does my tail attack not work on him? I guess not. I should have stayed in there. Oh, I know for next time. Oh. And I'm also knowing for next time that she needs to do a difficulty. Tells us cascade drop.
Bam. All right, Knuckles beat, I mean, Tails beat Eggman and Cosmic Angel. All right. So now we got to do Act 2. And now we are on X Zone. So now Tails gets to fight. Ugh. Oh. Of course. <laughs> yeah, nice try, Eggie. Uh, and now we are on the second set. Real. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay, and you are not finished with us yet. Proceed on. Hi there again. So far, so good. Great, nice dodge. Oh. Oops. Mm -hmm. Yes! And that's it! Like, how do we beat it with Tails that can't beat with Sonic? Uh, no, 
I can trust the being the main character. But we did it. We got through finale. And I believe we are going to, yep, drop you from the sky like in Sonic 3 and rescued by the tornado. Uh, by the way, every character gets this. The only exception of change is that if you're playing Sonic, Tails will be the one um, in the tornado. And yes, this is the same tornado that is used in Sonic Adventure 1 and in Sonic Unleashed. And I think it's more modernized in Unleashed. But yeah, alright. And that is game. Uh, and then there's credits. Oh, I forget which one's we are credits. There we go. So yeah. Alright. Hey, go collect the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, they're all gonna say that. Um, to go collect the Chaos Emeralds. Upon completion. But... We are done here. Because <laughs> I am completely tired. But that is Sonic Advance, so we'll be back. Now we're gonna save for Sonic Advance. I'm gonna save twice, because that's stupid. Um, but yeah, that is it for Sonic Advance. Um, original Sonic Advance. I'll have a poster and stuff set up for Sonic Advance later. Um, because I did not get a chance to actually do it now. So, with that said, you guys, it's time to end things here. If you guys enjoyed today's content, please make sure you give me a follow. It helps me out so much, and it allows the channel itself to grow. Because once we get enough viewers into the, into the stream, that will allow me to become affiliate. And I need an average of five. So, if you know anybody, you know some friends, please send them my way. And guys, sitting in the chat does not count as viewers. <laughs> so, yeah, we really have to be in the actual chat or involved within the chat to actually help out with that. Um, then, let's see, tomorrow I'll do some more stuff. Oh, I think I'm taking off tomorrow. Or I might come in and do some stuff for tomorrow. I don't know. I'll let you guys know via Instagram and Twitter. But with that said, let's actually go through the roll call of things. So, um, if you guys would like to catch the main channel itself, exclamation point YouTube, there you go. That is for the main channel. I have new content up. I'm going over the uh, OTS Pack 19 for the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Then, if you guys would like to catch archives, and I need to update my archive channel, here is all the... Um, Ooh, I said archives. Oh no, wait. Archives. No, I said it right. Okay, there it goes. So if you guys want to catch up to archives, you guys want to see vibes from the streams and more, check that link there. Then if you guys want to catch me on social media, here is my Twitter. Oh, I saw Twitter. And Instagram. So you guys want to catch me on Twitter and Instagram? There you go. And then, of course, if you guys want to join the Discord family, you're more than welcome to. Here is the Discord link. So I'll share that again um, when I go on my Instagram and stuff like that. But with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for coming. I'll be on hopefully tomorrow by two o'clock, if not, maybe probably three. So. All right, I will let you guys know on Instagram and Twitter what the deal is. I'm going to be making um, stuff for the stream, so that way it can be a little more organized. And with that said, everything done. HPJ signing out. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. All right. And that was only one person.